King Cold's Dynasty. Wait, okay, so does that mean the last two packs are SPRs? Should we do a double bless in the pack? Double bless them? What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD. I finally got my hands on some of that pirate booty. My boy, Johnny, Holy Teo, uh, one of the best players in the Dragon Ball Super world. We're blessed to have him in the Dragon Ball Super community. I'm, I'm blessed to have him as my sweet, sweet boy that brought me booster box and a pre-release pack of Supreme Rivalry. We got it. We got set 13, the box, and we're gonna shrimp him. If you guys wanna see shrimp -ems every week, make sure to smush that subscription button. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew. Oh my God. We got it. We got a box. And let's shrimp. We have our dragon's knife. This is the pre-release pack. This is the booster box, and we're gonna use our dragon's knife here. Uh, from what I hear, this is from a fresh case. So if this is from a fresh case, that means we could have a secret rare in here. There are two secret rares per case. There's a possibility to have three SPRs per box, and we'll find out if we're gonna have three or two right now. Yeah, your show. Yeah. Trunks SPR, this is actually the same box topper from the box we got from Bandai. So maybe this will be a completely identical box as we got from Bandai, but there's only one way to find out. And the way to find out is to start with, of course, a bless in the pack. Oh, Bojack and Trunks, but bless it. Your bless it be true. Bless it this pack unto you. And then we gotta shrimp them these things. The only way to find out what kind of cardos are in here is by shrimping and seeing, we're not going through all the cards again this time. Yo, this Vegito rare full power. This looks great. I think this deck's gonna be super fun to play. King Vegeta looks hot cash and I'm definitely gonna build it and mess with it because it looks very fun. So our first rare is a foil rare. Very nice, very nice. And what do we have here? Another, uh, a foil common, Zangia, the evil do air. And we got this other Vegeta rare here, but parallel foils, can't keep it if it's not shiny. No, I'm just kidding. Share cards with your friends and act like a pirate and bling your decks out. Whoa, yo, foil Bardock leader. Heck yeah, gamers, look at this man. He's just coming in, he's blasting somebody's, blasting something out of his hand or he's grabbing something very firmly. The only way you can find out is by playing the deck and seeing what Bad Rock does because there are no bad, Bad Rock cards in this game. You heard it from my Sensei Miguel and yo, Trunks, yes. This is a very pretty SR. I haven't seen this one in person. Wow, he's all pink in some sort of strange dimension, Bojack's pirate world. I love it. I gotta love it. I love every part of it. What a great time. Unstoppable Invasion. That's one of the field cards. I think that's one of the green field cards. King Cold looks weird. I haven't tested the deck at all. I've just kind of read a little bit about it and it looks very strange. And we got Chilled, the Space Pirate Captain. What's up, Chilled? Nice to see you here. Thanks for coming to the Supreme Rivalry Party. Strip him. And in this pack, we have a Golden Frieza, the pinnacle of the clan. Whenever Frieza has one finger pointed up, you know he means business. If he ever has more than one finger pointed up, then he means a little bit more than business. So he is a businessman. He's in the business of buying planets and selling them for hot cash. You've heard about it from time to time. And we got this, yo, Trunks change the future. I definitely wanna play this future Trunks list. I think it's gonna be really fun. Yellow is fun. I think for this block, I'm probably just gonna build most of the decks and just play with my pals casually. Um, I think Android 16 is gonna be my go-to. I've been having so much fun with it. Salsa, ritual at hand. And we're definitely gonna be stripping a case live, probably. Don't know exactly when I'll have that, but yo, SR Goku, allies in the heart. Uh, I think this is a green boy. I'm not totally sure what it does, but it has deflect. And I see that word and that is good. King Vegeta, parallel for the leader, what a pack. Oh, very nice, very nice cards. Very nice cardboard, very high quality. Printed in Japan, Bandai prints this wonderful game for us in Japan, and Assault of the Androids. Got to love it. Got to shrimp them. Can we get a secret rare? Maybe. The only way to find out is just to keep shrimping. Ooh, a vicious ambush. I think we got that in our last box delivered from Bandai, from Bandai to Joker's Pirate Lair. Terrified Realization. This is a really cool card. I like the art on this. It's very bold. Would probably look good on a t-shirt. Whoops. Anyway, shrimp them. And another SR. Is it time? SS Gotenks, Surging Strike. 
Black has gotten so much more fun and interesting to play since the Unison Warrior set dropped. Really the only, I think, really fun black thing to play previously was Demigra. Demigra was good for a while and he hung and had lots of interesting stuff going on. But once Vegas came on to the scene, like Black really started slapping it. It's something they have to like look out for. This is the momentary ally. Uh, we should have two SPRs in this box. Chiwai, yo, this is a nice parallel foil. This will make a good token for another game if you're looking for a token, but you shouldn't use Dragon Ball cards for Dragon Ball tokens unless they are Dragon Ball tokens. Is that confusing? Oh, yo, Frieza, Demolisher of Planet Vegeta. That is a nice looking parallel foil. The full arts, just set Unison Warrior full arts. How can you not like it? You know, it's good for you to do good stuff for your- Yo, King Vegeta, imposing presence. We got one of these boys in our other booster box. And we still haven't seen a single SPR, so there should be SPRs at least two SPRs, maybe even an SCR. I haven't been counting the SRs. Once you pull five SRs, that means you're not gonna get an SCR in a box. Did you know that? Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm right based on my calculations. Another Dark Shenron Wicked Wishmaster Parallel Foil. Got that in the last box as well, rip them. What do we have here? It feels like an SPR at the back of this pack. Nope, this is an SR. Galactic Buster, zero energy activate battle. I think this only works with Bojack stuff. But Bojack looks fun, and Bojack has gotten in there from time to time. Bojack was yellow, now he's... Bojack was blue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bojack was... Bojack was yellow, now he's blue. That's how that works. Bojack is now blue. So, and there's also some blue-yellow Bojack support. That's cool. I like the threads, how you can see them in the parallel foil hollow. It looks nice. Looks nice for my eyeballs. There should be... Are we gonna get an SPR in the Bless in the pack? Maybe. Pan, foil, unison. Very cool. First one-drop blue unison value. How can you not be psyched about having a one-drop blue unison? Having Trunks on board, turn two. Busted. Broken. King Cold's Dynasty. Wait, okay, so does that mean the last two packs are SPRs? Should we do a double bless in the pack? Double bless them? Only one way to find out. Unless I missed that one of the others was an SPR. Yo, Majin Buu, the Agents of Destruction Unison, four drop blue. This is a great unison. Very beautiful card to see that in person. Really nice looking. Nice to And then this should be an SPR also, I think. In the bless in the pack, we bless it. And yo, King Cole, Everlet Strike. Yo, that was wild. The first thing we pulled was a box topper. That was an SPR. And then we just pulled SPRs out of the last two packs. What a Shrippum adventure. What a great time it's been. Anyway, guys, if you enjoy this Shrippum adventure and you want to see more of these Shrippum adventures, just smush that subscription button. If you're a returning member of the Joker, thank you. We finally got these boxes. Thanks to our boy, Holony. Uh, and if you want to know the truth, I am a dentist. I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. Now, I've said this dental tooth tip before, and this one seems like common sense. These cards are so shiny, they remind me of diamonds, but I have to remind you guys, don't bite on things that are harder than your teeth. I know it sounds really basic, but people do it all the time. Don't chew on ice, don't chew on uh, pistachio shells. You can break them. Teeth are expensive. They're crystals hanging out of your skull and it's not cheap to fix these things. So keep your teeth in your head, brush your teeth twice a day. Don't forget to floss and power toothbrush is a great idea. I'm Joku DMD and I'll see you guys next time.